Hey, where, where are the YouTube famous? I don't know, probably never. What I do know is that this is 4F Beauty. Uh, and I haven't done one of these for quite a while. And when I say one of these, I mean a hell yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No. But I've got a toothache. So I'm in a bit of a mood. So I thought it'd be the ideal time to give my opinions on current and recently released makeup products. So I will slide you that way slightly and then you'll spin back a fraction. There we go. Uh, so that I can, when I'm editing, put pictures up here. Um, these are just my opinions. You don't have to agree with me. In fact, yeah, probably won't. My tooth is really starting to nag at me now. So I expect some sassiness. Um, I haven't filmed this look. If you want me to, let me know. Um, I just want to start off with showing you some black owned businesses that you may or may not wish to purchase from. We have got Makeup Scientist Cosmetics, La Belle UK, Brown Melanin Makeup, Beauty of Colour Cosmetics. We've got Silhouette Boutiques, Lashes by Lena, Stony Cosmetics and E.A e. Beauty. We have Her Mannerisms, DJ's Unique Boutique, Unique Beauty, not E-Unique, it's just Unique Beauty, and Makeup Addiction Cosmetics. Now the one that I have not mentioned there is of course September Rose because regular viewers will know they were the first company to give me a discount code. Um, I absolutely adore all of their uh, products and recommend them wholeheartedly. Of the 12 companies that I have just mentioned, uh, I have tried La Belle, good, um, and I have tried Unique. I've got their Seven Deadly Sins palette, and again, good quality. So, if you wish to, you know, give your coint to some black owned businesses, there's a few suggestions for you. But, cracking on, dupe that the Technically, I suppose it's the fourth Jacqueline Hill palette with Morphe because she had the black palette to start with where she chose her favourite shades from existing shades of Morphe. Then she did her first white palette, which has now gone non-vegan without telling anybody. Was vegan, isn't now, but they didn't make a big thing about it. Uh, then she had the vault and then now she has this one um, although they're calling this the volume 2 palette and technically it should really be volume 3 or 4 if you're including the vault not that I'm getting nitpicky well I'm getting nitpicky because my tooth hurts I emailed my dentist over a month ago asking for an appointment Still bloody waiting. Anyway, um, Dupe That have compared the uh, Jacqueline Schill X Voldemorphy palette with the Colourpop It's All Good palette. 
not a huge amount of difference in terms of price. Um, the Jacqueline Morphe is 39 bucks. The Colourpop's is 34 bucks. But Colourpop have regular um, sales on. It's a slightly smaller palette, so it's easier to handle. It's easier to travel with. Um, and to be quite honest, it's probably better quality. Um, neither of them really cool to me, but if you were asking my opinion, I would go for the Colourpop one. Uh, they did some swatches there, so you can see you can get pretty much exactly the same look from both palettes. Touching briefly on the Jeffrey Cremated palette, which um, I have purchased, so that's a hell yeah. Uh, whether this will be the last thing I ever purchase from him, I'm not sure. Um, I'm very much of the until I see proof rather than one person's word against another. I reserve judgment. Um, so we'll just see what comes out. But there is a um, there's a a woman on Insta, uh, Mandy S Berry, who takes a palette and then rearranges it in shade order. So you can see just how many similar shades there are in a palette. So she reordered the cremated palette and it looks like that. Um, and then she added a black background so you can actually see the difference in shades. Just in case you wanted to see that, that obviously is out now. Uh, they restocked a lot of stuff. Um, in terms of, as well as the cremated palette, they restocked a lot of the Shane stuff, including the new Emerald Controversy palette with the green Put It Back shade. Clearly, that was a hell yeah. The reason I rebought the entire palette, well, there's two reasons. One, the green shade on its own was only available on Jeffrey's site. No way am I paying shipping and then when it arrives paying import and handling on top of that. Um, plus, and the second reason was he was charging eight bucks for one shadow. When I divided the cost of this by nine Shadows worked out about £3.20 each. I've got friends who own their own uh, makeup companies and they've said that probably cost him 25 cents, 50 cents at the most to create. And bearing in mind that £3.20 for that doesn't include the cost of the cardboard around it. So each each shade was probably less than three bucks, so he was charging probably the equivalent of three shades for one individual shade. Yeah, I'd rather buy the whole palette and have spare shades or potentially get rid of the, you know, resell on the previous mini palette that I'd got. Um, they also snuck in the green pig mirror and the slime gloss in, which was that green gloss and a diet root beer lip scrub because I believe he stopped doing his root beer lip scrub. I haven't seen that for quite a while. Um, obviously I'm not going to continue to harp on about those because they're already out. Moving on, uh, Profusion have got some palettes out which so far are not available in the UK and I'm getting really antsy because I want them. Um, this Emeralds palette for example looks amazing. 
as does that neon and the yellow fusion and that mauve one but I mean put this up here you've got the banging pinks upbeat orange yellow fusion and electric blues I definitely want the yellows out of that that's obviously their brighter fall that they're doing um, I like the look of the mauves but I've got quite a few palettes recently that I've bought like Flutterby from Colourpop which I probably don't need that to be honest the emeralds and the neon ones though those are a hell yeah the mauves is a maybe baby the yellow is a hell yeah the pink, the orange and the blue are a whoa, whoa, whoa. no because I have those elsewhere Crayola. I know this isn't makeup, but they did kind of do makeup last year. Crayola announces Colours of the World crayons representing 40 skin tones. How is it Crayola can produce 40 skin tone colours? And some of these big makeup brands who've been around for quite a while and it's rather right they're newbies and they haven't got the money to develop it. They still only have a few shades for their foundations. Moving on. Uh, the latest Naked palette is Ultraviolet. I kind of like it. Two, three, four, four violets, two pinks, a tealy turquoise, and then five neutrals. Naked, naked, two, naked, three, naked, reloaded. We have enough. Neutrals, to an extent, Naked Honey. You're giving us an ultraviolet palette, but half of it isn't purple. Get out of here. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Just, just no. Um, and they're also bringing out this Lash Freak Mascara giving more volume and length with an innovative applicator that will give more volume to your lashes instantly Is it me or does that look like the plant out of Feed Me Seymour? Little Shop of Horrors for those of you wondering It does look like a Venus flytrap for your lashes doesn't it? I mean, I'll reserve judgement until I see it used, but I just... How many times have we seen funky mascaras? You've got the L'Oreal one with the, the, the thing that slants so you can get to your things easily. It's just... You know, Makeup Rev brought out all these different bloody mascara shaped brushes and it just... Ugh. It's a maybe leaning towards a no for me, that one. Uh, Kaleidos, obviously it's now live, the Escape Pod, and um, they have new highlighters out as well. Uh, Hubby has actually bought me the palette and the blue highlighter. Uh, the Moon Cruiser so I will have those here hopefully not too much longer uh, so you'll be able to see those on here so obviously that's a hell yeah um, I really like the Kaleidos formula on their 6 pan palettes I'm hoping that this 15 pan is going to be the same quality 
Oh, if you're wondering where my nails went, the last lot of stick-on ones I had completely wrecked my nails, literally. Uh, so I've had to take them off and give my nails a breather. Don't buy false nails from W7. It's a false economy. Juvia's Place, I've got the Wahala palette. Um, and swatches there. I don't know why, but it just isn't calling me, that one. And I've got a lot of Juvia's palettes, but that one just... It's, it's not doing it for me. Plus, wasn't it about... Wasn't this really expensive as well? Wasn't it something like 40 bucks? Which, for Juvia's place, what are you thinking about? You're meant to be the affordable. Yeah, that's a... That's, uh, that's a no from me, that one. Elf and Jay Kisser have done this To the Rescue Rainbow Palette. Which I did think was funny because obviously Trend Moves 1 arrived broken. As you can see from my annotation to the picture. And she photoshopped the broken shade back to normal but she forgot about the reflection. Um, if this were available in the UK, it would have been a hell yeah, but it's not. What's that all about? Why can't we get it here? Hmm? Hmm? Why not? Why not? Why not? Um, Makeup Rev, as we know they do, dupe higher end brands so that if you cannot afford, because not being funny, if you can afford the higher end brand, you're going to buy the higher end brand. If you can't afford it, you're going to buy a dupe. If you can afford to get Huda, you're not going to go, oh, hmm, but I'm going to get the Revolution one. I said, you're going to buy Huda, you know, it's, but she, mm, she doesn't get pride on my channel. She's on my shit list. Uh, so this is actually quite useful because then it means that I could pick these up and do tutorials with them and if you have the Huda version you could follow along. Um, have you met the new Viva Neon palettes yet? Each of these four palettes come in extreme neon packaging filled with bright matte shimmer and foil formulations. Thank God there's no press glitters. I hate that. Uh, the orange one is not a dream, the yellow one is electric dreams, the green one is up all night and the pinky purple one is party vibes. Uh, that's, a, that's a maybe from me that one. Um, I've got a lot of palettes and I've got the um, I've still got the Urban Decay Electric Palette, which still works perfectly well. Um, they've now come out with their Double X Revolution as another brand under their umbrella. Um, now, obviously, Double X is 20 in Roman numerals, so whether they're trying to be. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's 20 in Roman numerals, so. I don't know whether they're trying to be clever and say this has come out in 2020 or if they're saying it's 2020 vision, that's imperfect. I don't know. Um, but looking at these complexion face palettes reminds me an awful lot of the Hourglass complexion palettes. Now I have got some Hourglass stuff. I've got one of their um, ambient lighting powders in dim light. I've got one of their strobe, uh, euphoric strobe light, which looks like that. Um, I've got the ghost quad um, blush and I've also got one of their bronzers. I do like Hourglass. If I want a softer, glowy, if I'm going out somewhere to an evening event where I wouldn't do this kind of makeup, you're not apart from going to a more exclusive 
soiree. Um, I would normally use the hourglass um, stuff because it, it, particularly under low lighting conditions, it just makes your skin look perfect. Um, it's nice to see they've actually gone quite deep with the bronzers on that. Uh, obviously the lightest one which would suit me best is the one bottom left with the lilac highlighter. Um, they're 18 quid or 20 bucks. Matte bronzer, illuminating highlighter and shimmering blush. Um, maybe that lilac's a brush then, I don't know. I like the look of it. But I'm going to wait for a sale. So that's a maybe from me. Mainly because I've got hourglass. So I'd only be getting it to compare to those anyway. Tammy has produced now her third palette with Revolution. And she's also got a couple of face palettes with it as well. And she has said that she's... Um, She's concentrated on people who have more melanin in their skin. People of colour, black people, brown people, um, whatever the current PC term is. Uh, so she's gone for a deep and a deep dark on the face palettes, which I think is great. I know a lot of people have been going, oh, but I can't get one for me. If you're my colour, or slightly deeper because let's face it without makeup I am uncooked chicken my makeup's very 80s today isn't it blue and red good lord um, we have enough choice our boys and girls of the deeper melanin don't have that much choice Tammy has beautiful deep brown skin Shut up of your face. Um, the palette looks nice, but it's nothing I've not already got. So for me this time, um, I'm going to pass on it. I've got her. I've not got the first palette she did because that was quite deep, kind of more muted, rich shades. Then she bought the bright palette out, and I've got the bright palette. Um, and now she's done this one, so to be honest, there's nothing in here I haven't already got a million times over. So, um, for me this time it's a pass, but um, if you are of the deeper melanin persuasion, then I would definitely recommend having a look at those, especially those face palettes, because they look extremely good and they're only a tenner for the face quads. Now I saw this I Heart Revolution drive through grilled cheesy tasty burger and I think the one at the back is vegan something, vegan steak maybe, vegan stack maybe, um, it just says something tasty is coming soon here to satisfy all your cravings, National Hamburger Day. And I've seen nothing since, so I don't know when they're coming, if they're coming, what they're going to be. I'm guessing they're going to be similar to the little round donut things, but in burger form? I don't know. guess we'll find out soon. So that's a... I don't know. I don't get it. Not enough info. Colourpop have... I'm trying to steam through these because I'm aware I've got quite a lot and I know how long these films go on for and I've got to edit the damn thing. And I've got to fake. I haven't you much of a yet. Um, Colourpop have released these mixed pastel palettes because obviously, I mean, they've got... Actually, I've got one on my 
table here at the moment, funnily enough. You know, they've, they've got the mint one, they did a lilac one, they did a peach one, they've done... Have they done a pale pink? I don't think they have done a pale pink one yet, have they? Um, but they've now done these mixed ones. Um, sort of greens and yellows and peaches and blues and pinks and lilac and then kind of uh, orangey, peachy, pinks. Um, they're calling it the tie-dye collection. I will admit, I quite like the look of the blue and purple one. But I need to have a look, because I've got an awful lot of their £9 palettes. I need to check my Blue Moon palette and my Lilac you a lot palette and see whether I've already got those shades because if I have there's no point duplicating it but those are cute I will admit they are very cute super tempted that's a maybe from me uh, Max are coming out Mac Mac not Max Mac Fix Plus MAC are coming out with new scents for summer. Um, I'm not sure if they're out in the UK yet or not. I know they're in the Asian market already. But they've got Colours of the Rainbow. They've got Passion Red, which is Strawberry and Peach. Vitality Orange, Apricot and Tangerine, that sounds nice. Balance Green, Peppermint and Bergamot. Calm Blue, Blueberry and Jasmine. Awaken Purple, Tea Leaves and Flowers. That balanced green to me looks more yellow, but anyway, because then I've got a play green, which is lemon and orange. Or maybe the play green is actually the yellow one, the lemon and orange one. Yes, it is. And then compassion pink is berries and roses. Um limited edition 13 quid each uh, oh yeah available now online Asia and Europe uh, U US to follow I like Mac Fix Plus I've actually got a full size one over here I've got the Fix Plus Lavender Fix Plus is not a setting spray. Fix Plus is a moisturising or hydrating spray. It's the kind of thing where when you finish doing all your powders, if you're looking a bit dusty, spritz a bit of MAC Fix Plus on and it kind of melts all the powders into your skin. If you want something to make your makeup last longer, you're going to want something like the Gerard Slay All Day. Um, I do have an affiliated discount code for that. All my codes are listed below uh, and state whether they are affiliated or not. Um, it annoys me that they only ever do these in the mini size. Although at least they are doing half size, half price. I think they're 26 quid over here at the moment for the full size. So, mm, yeah, maybe. That's a maybe with me. I am very tempted by that apricot and tangerine one, the orange one, because that sounds sounds like a good sort of freshen up through the day. You know when it's because in the UK we have a very sticky heat. We don't have dry heat, and as a rule we don't have aircon over here. We have windows. <laughs> um, so that sounds like the kind of thing that would be nice to sort of spritz on and then sit in front of a fan 
Um, so yeah, that's a maybe for me. Continuing on with mini sprays, the Anastasia Dewy Set have got new scents again. These are 15 bucks each. Uh, mango, pineapple and a coconut. Uh, mini scented setting spray that hydrates skin and seamlessly blends makeup together giving the complexion a dewy never oily radiant finish so that again sounds more like a hydrating spray than an actual extending the wear of your makeup in terms of extending the wear of your makeup I've only really found two that work one is the um, all nighter from Urban Decay which dries the ever loving shit out of my skin um, and the Slay All Day so again those are a maybe for me Dolce & Gabbana are releasing the Solar Glow collection um, it launched on my birthday May the 1st in Asia and soon coming to other markets. Um, bronzing powders in golden sand and bronze feeling and blushes and highlighter in sweet pink and peach. If that's the only colourways they've got, that's a no from me because uh, where, where, where are the um, where are the where, where are the colours for my black friends? What? This 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 ain't gonna show up on people like Nima Tang. Come on. If Revolution can produce bronzers that are dark enough to appear on Nima's skin, I'm pretty sure Dolce and Bloody Gabbana can. Or is this just a we're 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 posh and only want posh white women wearing our stuff? That's a no from me. House Labs Stupid Love Eyeshadow Palette Reminds me of my certified palettes. Affinity. It reminds me of Power of Affinity Two, which is the blue and green one. Although this is definitely more Gaga than their previous release. Fifty dollars for that. Not being funny, you could buy Blue Moon from Colourpop and one of their brown palettes and their orange palette and you'd still be paying less than if you bought that one. That's, that's a hard pass from me, that's a really hard pass. Uh, Sample Beauty have bought out the Jewel Toned Palette. The Prodigy Palette, they're calling it. Anybody else think Prodigy and sees Keith Flint in an underground tunnel going, I'm a fire starter, kin instigator, yeah. Just, just, just me then, yeah? Okay. Um... like it but I've already got their paradigm shift palette and I've got um, two of their smaller palettes as well so I don't think I need this one 
that being said, Sample Beauty do produce good quality eyeshadows. So if you're looking to try something from the brand, then um, it's about 22 quid, 32 bucks. So it's. Oh dear. It's. Um, It has three more shadows than the House Labs, but uh, it's less than half the price. Go figure. Uh, Fenty Freestyle Cream Blushes. 20 bucks each blush. Now, I've seen some people use these and these blushes are even smaller than this Tarte blush. They are, let me, I've got some sample ones, let's say some samples. I've got a mini here of Rocketeur from Benefit. And to be honest, this is probably about the size of those cream blushes. I know the cream blushes you use less than you do with the powder. But I still think that is one heck of a price for not very much product. So, um... Yeah, that's, that's going to be a no from me, I think. Um, I did cream blushes during the 80s. And to be honest, I wasn't a fan of cream blushes back then. And back then when you bought a cream blush, or at least the one that, sorry, I had a hangnail I had to deal with. Um, at least back then the one that I bought was like this long and it was like like a square lipstick that you just you got your money's worth back in the 80s mind you I think it was an Avon product I think I know it was my mum's and I nicked it um, that being said that bottom swatch, that apricot one that looks so nice But not at 20 bucks. I will wait for a sale, I think, before I pick one of those up, so that's a maybe. Uh, Etude Official, and I can I know at least one of my friends who's going to be going, What? Hello, I need this. Have produced the Rose Wine Palette. Wine Rosé. I absolutely love the look of that. Um, that could work as a work day palette. Those sponge applicators can go though. It's like they're only good for applying glitter. There's a tip for you. Don't throw your sponge applicators away. Keep hold of them because they're great for applying glitter. Um, that's about all they're good for. Uh, and they've got some lipsticks as well by the look of it, all in sort of rosy tones. Yeah, I, I actually think that's super cute. And I think for, you know, an everyday work day palette, um, you've got sort of neutral browns, pinks, peach, you don't have to use the shimmers for work. I quite like that. I don't need it because clearly I don't tend to wear very many neutrals and I've got enough neutral palettes already, thank you. But I do like it. I think it's cute and I think for the right person that could definitely be a hell yeah. Uh, for me it's a no, but 
It's cute. Voldemorphy and Coca Cola. I don't get it. I really don't get it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've, I've bought the little Coca Cola bottle shaped liners from, from places like Yes Style. Because they're funny and they're cute. But I don't see Voldemorphy and think Coke, and I don't think see Coke and think of makeup. I genuinely don't understand why this came about. Who. Who, who needs this? I need, I need to wiggle my back, it's killing me. But like seriously, who, who asked for this? Who need, who wanted this? Who... I... Huh... I... 22 bucks for that palette. Why has it got a blue in it? When is Coke ever blue? They haven't even got a blue range for goodness sake. They got the silver one, so that makes sense. They got red, that makes sense. They got black. They haven't even got a black in there. They had those green ones with the stevia, they were quite nice actually. But and I kinda get the browns because because Coke is brown, but why? Why is there a pale blue next to the reds? <sighs> Four piece lip collection, they look like lip glosses. brush collection so basically it's Voldemorphy brushes just with red handles on big whoop a loose highlighter the quench pack four piece beauty sponge you know sponges soak up water right not actually quench your thirst, they, 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 they make things drier. I know I'm repeating myself here but I don't get it. Ofra, let's go back to proper makeup. Ofra have got a couple more of their Quint palettes out. Um, another sort of peachy brown one, and uh, I like that summery one. The top one is the Getaway palette. The deeper of the two lip glosses is Bare. The palette that I like the look of with the yellow and the blue and the, the hot pink is Beachside and the gloss underneath that is Barley. I like the fact that they're doing, unlike their, their Quint palettes which are five, have I got any here? I'm not in the drawer. No, I don't think I have them in the drawer. Um, their Quint palettes usually are five eyeshadows. I like the fact they've done four eyeshadows with um, a highlighter in the middle. I think that's a really good idea because those are great for when we can start travelling again. 
because then you haven't got to cart an extra highlight around with you and Ofra highlighters are so soft so um, 32 bucks is a bit steep but should I see that in a sale the beachside palette is gonna be mine Bess and May are bringing out an I Love Lucy collection. That should be cute. Um, going to include a lipstick, eyeshadow palette, face powder and more. So that should be good. Lucy's um, very popular, isn't she? And Lucy Ball. Wayne Goss. Now I've got one of his lippies and I quite like it. It does give a reasonable amount of butthole lip, but if you blot it, you're fine. But it's brushes. I know it's all self-funded, nobody's funding it for him. And these are the sort of Jap inspired by Japanese calligraphy brushes. Very nice. But that set. I hope you're sitting down. It's $175, not $75, which would be bad enough because that would be 25 bucks a brush. A hundred and seventy-five dollars. That's nearly sixty quid a brush. No standard feral and softest real hair silk. Pick up and diffuse powder seamlessly over the skin, hand bundled by master artisans with the perfect density and shape for effortless blending and less fallout. See this brush here? This is by Royal and Langnickel. This is their Chic Pro range. This is an eyeshadow brush. It is one of the softest brushes I have ever used in my life. It cost me two pounds. This is from the same line, the Chic Pro. This is their highlighter brush. It is one of the softest brushes I have ever used. It was four pounds. Save yourself some money. Wayne, sweetheart, love you to bits. But I am not paying sixty bloody dollars for a brush. Elf. Oh, that's more reasonable pricing. Talk about the sublime to the ridiculous. Um producing their Retro Paradise collection 18 piece eyeshadow palette 14 bucks um, that's quite pretty actually that would be quite nice for you could wear that to the office there's enough neutrals in there you could do that to the office and then just maybe pop a little hint of the you know the, the, the mint or the lilac on your bottom lash line if you're feeling dangerous um, again, it's got far too many neutrals for my liking, but it's a nice enough palette. Um, and then I've got lip glosses and face powders and stuff. So, yay. Lots of good stuff going on there. Christine from Neological, or simply Neological has brought out the latest line in her nail varnish hollow taco this seven piece set is nearly a hundred bucks though um, you can buy them individually for 14 bucks and I've got to admit I really like the look of that yellow 
that's kind of a dirty, dusky yellow, you know? Not quite a mustard yellow, but kind of a grungy, not dirty, a grungy yellow. I like the look of that. And let's face it, if nail salon stays shut for too much longer, I'm going to have to start painting my own. So that's a maybe baby. Uh, Coloured Rain have got the Juicy Boost collection coming. Haven't seen the inside of this yet. Uh, but if it's anything like the outside, I'm guessing lots of fruity colours, you know, strawberry, kiwi, apple, lemon, lime, banana, coconut. Who knows, but no doubt it'll be bright, no doubt it'll be expensive, it's coloured rain, but it's good quality. Milani have got a fruit fetish collection. Uh, lip balms, $7.99 each. Make it last setting sprays, $10 each. And stay put bright liner in $8 each. Full collection, $85. Do you know what? If they if those coloured liners actually stay that vibrant and don't crack, I might be interested. Because the biggest problem I get with coloured liners is that they do split and they do crack and it's very, very annoying. Um, why am I looking at colour pops again? I've already done that one. Bum Bum. I love the Bum Bum cream. And now they're bringing out a bum bum scrub, which looks lovely. But it's going to be expensive, you know it's going to be expensive. I'm not going to pay a fortune just for a body scrub. I like Frank Body's ones, the, co the coffee scrubs, they're really good. Fenty are bringing out Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipstick. Well, that's difficult to say. Ten shades, 22 bucks each. Tang uh, Quartz Candy Clear with Pink Iridescence. Sugar Kiss Bubblegum Pink. Tang Fang Red Orange. Makeout Break Latte Nude. Glazed Peachy Pink. Retro Rose Dusty Pink. Goji Gang Rosy Mauve, Cookies and Cream Cocoa Berry, Bubble Rum Chocolate Brown, and Vamps Who Brunch Plum with Blue Iridescence. Um, I've got one of her, a couple of her uh, matte mozelles, the, the matte ones. Shocked at how small they were, they're half the size of a normal lipstick but the same damn price. Um, but I, I must admit, I like the look of that that ready orange one. That's, that looks nice for the summer. Barry M are getting into these water activated liners that seem to be all the rage. Suva started, or Suva were the first people that I knew that had them. Um, Anastasia have done them. Um, Glisten Cosmetics, a UK indie brand that I've used, they've got some. And now Barry M are jumping onto the band wagon. But they're quite cheap, they're only five quid. Available at Barry M and in Superdrug. They've also got these high vis liquid eyeliners in four vivid shades. Again, a fiver. Blue, green, lilac, and pink. Uh, lethal Cosmetics. Oh, look at that. Gel liners. Um, they'll be available individually and as a bundle towards the end of this month. 
spotted on display in Walgreens the coffee edition lipsticks by Maybelline not overly keen on their Superstay variety I will admit um, as in the Superstay matte ink ones with the black lid and the coloured base but the ones with the clear lid, the satin ones I might have to pick one of those up because I do love me some coffee smelling stuff um, the matte ink ones $9.49 the two step liquid lipstick $10.49 so hopefully with a bit of luck they'll be out soon over here in the UK and we can grab some to try YSL have got these two palettes out that they're calling clutches so I don't know whether that means that the palette itself lifts out and it becomes a slimline clutch bag um, kind of cute but not really my style to be honest they're not they're going to be expensive as well with it being YSL but they're coming apparently um, Letha Cosmetics are doing a whole after dark collection they've got a pre-assembled 12 pan palette uh, for 49 euros Colours available individually for €67 Euros each and also those gel liners that I showed you earlier and the swatches of them there that's a maybe for me, I do like Lethal but they are expensive Kylie is teaming up with yet another one of her sisters is Kendall a sister? is she? Is she a friend? She looks like she could be a sister. I don't know. But she's teaming up with Kendall. Um, palette, lipsticks, liners, breast powder maybe. It's a no from me. Natasha Donona is coming out with another one of her $65 palettes this time in bronze with a matching cheek face glow palette and three different glosses looks cute enough still waiting for her to bring out a $65 palette that calls to my mind Melt Cosmetics are turning their plum stack into a palette. Again, they've added four new shades to make it an eight pan palette called She's in Parties. I don't know how I feel about Melt at the moment. I'm annoyed that they got rid of the Moite palette. I just saved up enough money to buy the damn thing and then they discontinued it so I don't know if this is going to be limited edition or not but if you had been put off buying the stacks because of storing them traveling with them etc you may it seems like they're going down the route of slowly turning all of their stacks into palettes they turned the neon stack into a palette already um, so if you've already got the plum stack I guess do you really want to fork out more to get it in palette format for four more shows is it worth it to you I don't know you're the only person that can make that decision and I believe my folks that's your lot for the day so I'm now going to go and edit all of this and 
hopefully try and make a bit of sense out of things. Let me know if you enjoyed this, let me know if you want me to continue doing these. Um, I stopped doing them last year because I was on a low buy and it was too tempting to keep looking at all of the different um, makeup coming out. But if you want me to restart doing my Hell Yeah Well No series, let me know. I would imagine the episodes would be slightly shorter than this one because obviously I was recapping some stuff that has kind of been out for a week or so as well as forthcoming things. So yes, it's entirely up to you. If you enjoyed this, I'll do more of them. If you didn't, then I won't. Right, my lovelies, if you are one of my 4F babies, please double check you are still subscribed. My numbers in terms of subscribers has been going down like the bloody Titanic, to be quite frank. Um, I don't know whether it's because people are watching other streaming services rather than YouTube at the moment with the lockdown and everything, or... You know, I'm, I'm hearing a lot of people saying that you know, every time they put up a film on YouTube, they're losing subs. That's happening to me. It has been happening for a while. Normally the subs will come back within like one or two days, but that doesn't seem to be happening the last couple of weeks. So just um, for your own peace of mind, double check you're still subscribed because apparently you're being unsubscribed but you're still seeing my films in your news feed so it's not entirely obvious um, that you have been unsubbed from the channel once you've done that do let me know what you think of the forthcoming releases was there anything that I poo pooed that you really like the look of um, or is there something that's been announced to have been released either later on today or tomorrow morning when this goes up that obviously I haven't discussed yet. This is currently being filmed on Wednesday morning, it's 10 to 9, so I had a nice early start on it. Um, anything you want my opinion on, comments box is as ever open. Uh, a like would be nice, a share would be lovely, but uh, you know, you do you. If you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. Um, I guess if you made it this far through, you kind of enjoyed the blethering from this uh, slightly nutty bird. That being the case, I've got a lot of other films you can peruse through. I've got product reviews, tutorials, collabs, challenges, tag films, I even read you my favourite poem for goodness sake. You're going to find something that you like. So, as I've said for some considerable time now, oft here echoed elsewhere, but they don't have the luxury of having Sammy the Sloth Straw to accompany them. Grab a drink, grab a snack, put your feet up, and indulge. Have some you time. Right, my lovelies, all that remains for me to say, as ever, is your stay fabulous, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.